This is MMA Outbreak. Okay, moving on to the third fight from today's Odds Breaker segment. We're going to stick to Strike Force, the same card on July 14th. Another title fight, this time is for the vacant welterweight title, and it's between Tyron Woodley and Nate Marquardt. Now, guys, another pick em type of fight. We're going to start off with Jeremy first this time. Jeremy, I'm going to open up Nate Marquardt, the very slight favorite, minus 125, the comeback on Woodley, minus 105. What's your take and what's your bet? I honestly like Nate Marquardt in this fight a lot. Tyron Woodley, uh, I still believe to be considered a prospect in the sport. I don't believe he's faced anybody nearly as good as Nate Marquardt can be. Now, of course, we haven't seen Marquardt at 170 yet. We don't know what he's going to be like. We don't know how big he's going to be. We know he's big at middleweight. Uh, that, to me, would uh, I think that's going to give him a strength advantage at, at 170. But, you know, we'll see. One thing I do know for sure, this has the potential to be a fairly terrible fight uh, with two guys really negating each other. But I'm going to take Nate Marquardt possibly by knockout. Okay, so... Jeremy is going to risk the juice. It's going to be six twenty-five to win five hundred dollars on Nate Marquardt. Okay, Damon, you heard Jeremy's take on this fight. Now, do you agree or disagree with Jeremy? Uh, like usual, I'm going to disagree with Jeremy uh, because he's probably wrong. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I, I'm going with Tyron Woodley in this one. Uh, really, for a multitude of factors. When you look at Nate Marquardt's last few fights, when he's lost, his last two losses especially were against biz, big, physically strong wrestlers, Yushin Okami and Chael Son, and guys that could take him down and put him on his back and make him in an uncomfortable position. If there's one thing you can say about Tyron Woodley is that he is a great wrestler. Uh, he will take Marquardt down in this fight and put him on his back. And let's be honest, there's two big factors we're not talking about here. Nate Marquardt, as Jeremy kind of mentioned, he hasn't been at 170 before. We have no idea what we're getting at 170. And also, he's been out for a year. Uh, by the time this fight takes place, he's going to be out for well over a year. Um, so, I mean, you can't discount that kind of layoff especially with the weight cut. I mean, all these different things playing into it. Tyron Woodley's been at the top of his game in his last few fights. He may not be the most exciting fighter in the world, but he can put you on, on your back and keep you there, and I think that's what this fight's going to look like. All right, so Damon Martin's going to go the other side here, laying the slight juice minus 105, so it's going to be 525 to win 500 on Tyron Woodley. And again, both of our experts split on this fight. I think the public will, too. It's a very competitive fight. We're going to see a lot of two-way action when it hits the sports books. And it does take place July 14th, so we'll find out how it unfolds very soon. That's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. You can look for the lines that Nick broke right here on the show to start popping up at the sport books throughout this week. And I want to take a moment to thank our special guests, as always, great information from Jeremy Botter and Damon Martin. And, of course, Stipe Miocic. Good luck at the UFC, buddy. Make sure you also check out our new website, MMAOddsBreaker.com, and as always, follow us on Twitter, at MMAOddsBreaker. For Miguel Arati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.